Very soon, this musical talent will be heard by many around the world on the big screen. The National Philharmonic Orchestra of Trinidad and Tobago has signed on to produce the official score of local movie Black Sky. But before we talk about this historic collaboration, here's a piece of the movie's trailer. Madre de Dios. Madre de Dios. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios. Ruega por nosotros, pecadores. <laughs> Set to be completed later this year and go on tour internationally next year, Black Sky is a local horror set in the 60s in a small fishing village where people are being terrorized by something or someone. Writer and director of the film Michael Rushford said it depicts a lot of the folklore Trinbegonian grandparents would tell their grandchildren. The local residents are being tormented by uh, a demonic presence that uh, they are calling the superior. Rushford said Black Sky is an all-local production and is 75% completed. The official teaser was released in July and many people were impressed by it. Post-production is happening right now. Uh, we have some really cool visual effects in the film, things that have never been done locally with visual effects. And now the music, composed by D.K. Samai and conducted by the National Philharmonic Orchestra's Roger Henry. Rushford said he got the idea to approach the orchestra after he saw it was done in another country. However, he was not sure how to fit it into his budget, but after pleading his case to officials at the Ministry of Culture, he was successful. I wanted to use it as an avenue to open doors um, for future projects and for foreign projects too, like just to bring awareness to the Philharmonic Orchestra. And they, they were on board. And with the steel pan being Samai's instrument of choice, of course, it will be featured in Black Sky. But with what he does with the pan, um, that's interesting. He, he did something with the pan that's so unconventional and strange and scary. The director said before the film goes on tour, there will be a showing or two locally. Trending Thursdays will be taking a break for the duration of the Caribbean Premier League, but will be back in October. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.